I'm Steve Crandall. I've been a tactical officer for the last 10 years. Uh, previous to that, I've been a rock climber for the last 30 years, and I've done a lot of uh, rope rescue operations as a tactical rope-based entry operations. So I'm going to demonstrate to you right now uh, the first use of the tactical exo, and that's for work positioning for the cover officer or the cover team member in preparation for negotiating the edge and then moving uh, down the wall uh, under arms. So the is already pre-rigged on my system. We happen to have these handy anchors here. If we didn't have these, then we'd go ahead and use something uh, improvised there to move easily. I just grab the exo handle, and I can just move. And if you want to move fast, you can move fast. If you want to move slow, all I'm doing is just moving to the edge to try and... Um, and I'll stop for a second. To try and just get to the edge to provide cover. This is not a fast operation or a speed operation. A couple of different ways to move the exo. I can pinch the cam and turn it sideways and just pull through like this and drag my body through. I can actually handle the lever if I want to move uh, in that direction. And again, the exo just moves very easily. If I want to stop, I can let go, and it locks up 100%. Same is true on horizontal surface or in the vertical, or even a low angle or sloped area. So again, just moving towards the edge, uh, simulating that I am the cover officer, preparing to provide cover prior to negotiating the edge for a second officer that would be tied up identically to me. So as I approach the edge, move over slowly, Just like in all operations, kind of slicing the pie when I'm positioned, I can let go, lean out, and now provide cover for the second officer to move down. I would then hold this position for the entire evolution. I can lean out against the EXO. I have a very solid firing and shooting platform at this direction. I can move back if I need to, or I just barely lean out, just like slicing the pie, and I have a great view down the edge and uh, can lean out easily here and engage any threat at any direction without fear of falling over the edge. I'm assuming that I'm the actual entry officer. Again, keep in mind that I have a second officer or, even, or multiple team members holding cover on the edge. So at this point, I can, I can stay off my firearm and negotiate the edge uh, as I would in any other operation. Now, if I want to move quickly or as in a regular rappel device, I simply move the rope to my right side Hold the handle with my left, come to the edge, just like just like rappelling on, on any other device. Heels stay on the edge, and again, I can do several ways to negotiate the edge. If I want, if I want to uh, have a smaller profile, I can lay on the edge or sit on the edge and actually roll over uh, as, as a low profile entry. If I don't care about profile or silhouette or shine, I can actually lean out like I normally would on a, on a normal descent to control device. So again, as I can step over, as I just lean over till I'm comfortable, Take a few controlled steps down, and I'm on, on the edge. At this point, again, I have my other cover officer here pro providing all of those kind of things. So I'd switch the exo to my left hand now. And again, with the exo, I can go hands-free. So I can manipulate anything. I can, I can deploy uh, listening devices. I can set charges for uh, breaching and uh, without any fear of the device creeping, falling, or failing me. When I choose to go one-handed, I pick up the exo with my left thumb move the handle into my left side. And like everything else, you only move as fast as you can shoot accurately. Sidearm deploys. And now, in a very calm manner, I can just simply move down. I can stop at any time. I can go hands-free if I need to get a better firing platform and go with two hands, or I can continue one-handed. So again, one-handed, I pick it up with my thumb, come across the top, grab the handle, and then nice and controlled and smooth descent until I want to stop. I can place my charge, prepare to make entry. If I'm making entry again, same cause, I can push out, swing in, do whatever I want to do at that point. If I need to go back on gun, same thing. Pick up your left hand, grab the handle, deploy the sidearm. I can shoot in any configuration here. I can go single-handed here, either side, without any issue. If I want to continue to descend under cover, nice and smooth, controlling the handle, letting myself down to move. If I choose this point, once the operation is complete, I have my choice to either descend all the way to the ground or I can begin to ascend as well. Okay, so now if I choose to make to ascend or to reposition myself, I have a T-block. I can also use a Pressic or any other kind of cam that captures the rope. T-block goes on, a carabiner goes through the T-block very easily, sits in just like that. I now have several options on how I can and how I choose to ascend. If I happen to have a handy sling, the sling can just go in, and I can do a couple things. I can either ascend by 
sliding up here, grabbing a bite out of the EXO, and then I can either stand and pull a rope through the EXO just like that. And move up very easily and very quickly that way. And again, each time it is auto-locking, so if I have to produce a weapon at any time, I certainly can do whatever I have to do. That is one option to ascend. A second option to ascend, I can simply take the T-block and a bite of rope and place, place a bite of rope through here. Slide this up and then pull myself up with my hands. And so the, the EXO, as opposed to other descent control devices like a figure eight or like an, uh, other uh, products on the market, not only can I go down, not only can I use it for positioning to take a shot or to provide cover for a fellow officer, I can ascend with it. The other good thing is, um, if we had a second officer, I can then fix this at an anchor point and lower the officer over the edge. And I can also haul him back up on top. So it's a multi-use device. Uh, not just for descent control. How's that, Charlie? I'm not, I'm not even a pencil guy, so there you go.